Doing web scraping in Python usually involves learning libraries such as Beautiful Soup, Selenium, or Scrapy. But you can perform basic web scraping using Pandas. And in this project, I'm going to show you how to do it. So we'll continue with this tutorial in a second. I want to thank Medium for sponsoring this video. Medium is a platform where you can find thousands of Python tutorials, data science guides, and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. So let's start by importing pandas as pd. So I import pandas as pd. And here I'm going to read a CSV from a URL using pandas. And now let's perform some basic web scraping with pandas. Web scraping consists in extracting data from websites. So instead of doing it manually, we can automate it with some web scraping techniques. And in this video, we're going to extract CSV files from a URL using only pandas. So here is the target website we're going to scrape and it's this one. So this website contains data about football matches of different leagues. So here you can see a lot of leagues and now I'm going to choose the first one that says England football results. And here we're going to see some data about Premier League and other leagues that England has. And if I want to download one of these files, I will have to click on any of those. And as you can see here, I downloaded the CSV file of the first listed here. So this one corresponds to the season 21-22 and is from the Premier League. So instead of manually downloading each file, we can use a specific pandas method to read these files from the internet. And also by using the for loop, we can automate this and download all the files that you can see here. So instead of clicking one by one, we can download all the files listed here. So there are a lot of them and we can download it just with pandas and a for loop in Python. So let's do it here. And now I'm going to show you how to extract data from a single CSV file from this website. So to do that, we have to use the read underscore CSV method. So we write pd dot read underscore CSV open parenthesis. And we've used this method before, but when we use it, we read some data that was in the folder where we were working. So in the folder where this Jupyter Notebook file was located. But in this case, we're not going to read anything inside our computer, but we're going to read data that is in a website. So instead of writing the path of the file in your computer, in this case, we're going to write that link of the file. So here I'm going to show you this file has a link. So if we want to download, we have to make a request to that link to get that file. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to right click and now I'm going to copy the link address. So I copy and now I'm going to paste it here and now I press enter and let's see what's going to happen. So I press enter and as you can see here, instead of going to the website, it downloaded the file. So this means that this link contains the data we want to extract. So we're going to use this link. So I'm going to copy again here, copy. I'm going to make sure this is the address. So copy link address and now go back here, open quotes, paste the link. And this is the link we want to extract because it contains here that that CSV. So this means that this is a CSV file. And as you might remember, we read here a CSV because we're using the read underscore CSV method. So that's everything you have to do to read this CSV file that is stored in this website. So now I'm going to run this and let's see the results. So here, as you can see, all the data was read here with the read underscore CSV and it was successfully loaded here. So now I'm going to set here a new variable and it's going to be called df underscore premier 21. And as you can see here, this belongs to the 21-22 season because here in the date it says 2021. 
and also this is Premier League because the teams belong to the Premier League. You may know if you're familiar with this competition, but if you're not, it doesn't matter. So now let's continue. So here I'm going to set this data frame to this variable. So I press Control Enter and now I'm going to show here this data frame that we saw already. And now I'm going to rename some columns because some column names aren't so obvious. So maybe you will struggle to understand what this column means, for example, and I'm going to rename some of them. So let's do it here fast. And we also practice that rename method. So here I'm going to copy here. Now I write the name of the data frame that rename open parentheses. And now we want to change the columns. So I write columns equal to then open the dictionary. And here the key is going to be, let's say we want to change only the these two columns. So I'm going to tell you what they mean. So here I can write the name of the column we want to change, then column, then the value and now comma and now the second key or the second key value pair. So here is the second element and now I'm going to paste this one. So here it's the second and now this first FTHG stands for final time home goals. So it means all the goals are scored by the home team. So I'm going to replace this name with the home underscore goals name. And here is final time away goals. So I'm going to write only away underscore goals. And that's it. Those are my new names. Now to update the column names, I'm going to write in place equal to true. Now I run this and now I'm going to show this data frame updated. So now this column is named home underscore goals and this one is away underscore goals. And that's it. In this video, we extracted a single CSV file for my URL with pandas. In the next video, we're going to learn how to extract many CSV files from multiple URLs using pandas. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.